Welcome back to Houston Happens. And if typical hot dogs and burgers just aren't your jam, we have an idea for you. Give your 4th of July a tight twist. Joining me today for holiday dishes is Locale from M Express. I really appreciate you guys being here and introduce me to the rest of your team here. Hi, so I'm here with Chef Bell and Chef O, the very creative chef that we joined for us to create this concept. Yeah. And these are incredibly creative. So let's go ahead and start off with this one first. It's the beef drunken dog. What makes it a drunken dog? Yeah, so a lot of people are familiar with the Thai food called drunken noodle or pat kimao. So that's mean like actually a drunken person put a lot of things together. So inspired by that, we make that drunken chilies, which like again, a lot of uh, little bit and piece of Thai herb all together. Yeah, yeah. and I also see what else, are the, what other vegetables do you have in here? So we have bell peppers, we have Thai basil, like deep fried Thai basil over there. And inside the chili is Thai chili, garlic, mm, garlic. basil. Oh. Basil part, Thai basil. It can't be just any kind of basil. Really? It's got There's to be Thai basil, yes. Because Thai basil bring a very uh, unique, aromatic out of the food. Oh, yeah. beautiful. And I am eyeing these two right here. These are looking so delicious. Tell me about this burger right here. So this burger is actually the Thai green curry pork burger. Yeah, oh, I, I bet you wow. never heard no, and seen this I before. <laughs> yeah, because like, you know, Thai flavors, again, in the curry, there's a lot of herb in the green curry. So we adopt that green curry's uh, plate to build it in the sauce. Yeah. And I love these chips right here. I thought they were going to be serrano pepper, but what are they? It's actually a, a healthy version of the tortilla chip, which is a spinach uh, tortilla chip. It's go really good together, surprisingly. Awesome. Right? And is it surprisingly spicy? No. Oh, good. I'm not a huge spicy person, but this one looks like it has a little bit of a kick to it. Tell me about that one. Yeah, this one is uh, from my favorite childhood uh, dish. It's called like Thai basil beef burger. Ooh. Yeah, so in a patty is a beef with a little bit of a Thai chili kick. Again, Thai basil in it, you know, another aromatic that bring out the flavors. Yep. Okay, so now if somebody wants to have a little bit of a Thai twist, a little mm -hmm. bit of American fusion for their 4th of July, what are the basic ingredients that they need to kind of create this at home? We can already talk about it a little bit that the Thai basil, which mm -hmm. you can find it in any uh, Asian market, will be a main ingredient of it. And I suggest having also Thai chili. It doesn't have to be a lot, a lot of chili because Thai food doesn't have to be all spicy. Mm -hmm. It's just aromatic. So the Thai chili part of it will bring a little bit of aromatic with Thai basil. A little bit of fish sauce because it's ingredient Ooh, of a yeah, lot of Thai sauce. food. It's actually fish sauce, but it has to be balanced together, right? Yeah, yeah. and that's that's where you guys step in because I would love to recreate this at home, but I can't. So where can I go to get some of this delicious food? There you go. So the easy part because you're gonna celebrate Fourth of July mm -hmm. at home most likely, so you can order in through all the delivery platform. Our kitchen is actually located in Uptown, but the best way to go is go to our website, mexpresskitchen.com, and go through the link and order sitting at home and then make us uh, take care of the food for you. Oh, I like that, take care of the food for me.